officially my two-year lock anniversary and I'm here for an update now if you guys are not aware we will now be doing lock updates on this channel because you guys are always asking me questions about my locks also I'll be doing them sometimes on Instagram so make sure you guys go follow me on there it is always on the screen so a lot of people are so shocked by the rapid growth of my locks when I first started with my locks versus now is a drastic difference okay honestly if you would have told me my hair would be this long two years later i would have been like bitch you're lying okay this is actually my second go around okay the first time i got locks i failed okay i definitely couldn't get past the ugly face i was very very much so not trying to do the damn thing okay and i know a lot of people in the lock community do not like the word the ugly face but to be honest i said what i said i meant what i said and i'll say it again i did not like the way the short locks looked on me i did not embrace it i I was very insecure about my hair at the time this was probably like I think when I first started college or something I don't know I don't remember but I know it was a very very long time ago but nonetheless I decided to do it again and a lot of people always ask me like why did I get locks and to be honest I will tell you it's always been a calling I always felt like I had to have locks in my hair every time I imagine myself being older five years ten years twenty years from now I see myself with locks I never see myself with any other type of hair and time I would have a dream of myself in the future being married with children whatever case may be I have locks in my hair so I just felt like it's something that I'm supposed to have so I was like you know what I'm gonna do this again and of course my man has locks as well and his locks really did inspire me like every time I would see his hair I'm like oh my god you're such a beautiful man you have such beautiful hair I absolutely love it if you can do it I can do it one thing you need to know about my man my man is so inconsistent with his hair okay he would go from fro to braid to lock Locks, to take the locks out to throw again to low cut to curly hair to the, like he literally used to change her all the time and he actually stuck to the locks and I was like you know what if he can stick to this then I can stick to this too so you know the second go around I was like you know what I think I'm ready to let go of my loose natural hair and I'm not even gonna lie I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it only because my loose natural hair was something very very iconic to me I had built a brand on dragging people who used to talk shit about natural hair people knew me as the girl who used to walk around in heels and an afro anybody who didn't like me didn't like me because i cursed them out because of what they said about my hair you feel me so i was like god damn like that's a huge part of my identity who am i without my afro and i've always preached that you are not your hair right your hair should not be such a big deal because at the end of the day your hair can always grow back so my issue wasn't necessarily the short hair at the time because by the time i got my locks it wasn't necessarily oh my god the ugly phase i kind of got over that part but it was just like i'm so used to my afro i'm so used to the natural hair i'm so used to my kinks my coils the 4c the 4b hair i had for everything three everything in my hair honestly i had a million textures so it was just like it was weird because it was like damn i felt like i was changing identities but i was like you know what it's time to change you know i'm about to be in my second sector of my 20s you know i'm about to be the older 20s now i'm now 27 i believe i started at 25 since we're at the two-year mark and i was like you know what we're going to do this now we're we're going to get in there we're gonna do this shit we're gonna do the damn thing and i did it done thigh okay so the same woman who was doing my wig is the same woman who did my locks because she had locks in her hair and I just actually like you know you have locks so that means you do locks right because you do hair and she was like yeah I do locks and I was actually one of her first permanent lock clients um she didn't have too many people's locks that she was doing and she's been doing my locks ever since and I don't let anyone else touch my locks one time I went to someone else that did my locks and Jesus Christ it was a horrible experience never again so she's the only one that does my locks she's also a personal chef so shout outs to her her name is on the screen I absolutely love her she does my hair all the time absolutely love her she she does a phenomenal job I will link down some videos down below about my hair my process any other past videos I've done about um, my hair and how I maintenance it and things like that but to be honest with you I feel like my hair has grown the most because I haven't touched it I don't moisturize my hair often I don't wash it often and I retwist about every month or so but even at that when it's not being retwisted I leave it in a style when I retwist it it's styled it's left alone um, and then I let it loose for like a week or so and then 
I wash it and I go get it styled again. But this is probably the first time I actually only had it styled for a week because it started to fall apart. So now let's get into the cons of having locks, okay? Of course, I told you guys all of the positives for the most part. But you know what? Let me tell you guys some more positives because I can't tell you guys how much I love my hair. I feel like having my hair in locks makes me feel so empowered. I feel more beautiful with my locks. I feel like I can accomplish anything. I can explain it. Anyone with locks, comment down below if you feel this way. But I feel very, very invincible. I feel like with my hair this way, I just feel a lot more uplifted. I feel more naturally beautiful. I don't feel like I have to do much. And it's crazy because anytime I go get my hair done, I just don't feel that great. Like I like my hair like this. I don't care for it when it's retwisted all the time, if that makes sense. For outside perception and outside society, they're always looking at you like, oh, why is your hair not retwisted? Oh, why is your hair so scruffy? They always think that your hair has to be done, right? Even when it's loose natural hair, there's like, oh, it has to be sleek. It has to be curly and defined. I feel like natural hair is best when it's not so super defined and it's not so sleek and neat. And I feel even more like that with my locks. I like it when it's not so neat and even more it's like it's so weird because it's like sometimes when I'm getting my hair done it's like oh my god like do I have to like I get so used to like having it up and just having it out the way and just having it just out and about that I'm like oh my god I really don't want to like do I have to but usually now since it's getting longer and I could get away with like not having it done as much I don't tend to get it done unless it's like a special occasion a photo shoot or when it starts to kango and stuff like like that is that what the word is when it starts to knot up together or stick together that's when i really go get it done and stuff like that um another positive is that i get to just go you know i get to just wake up and shake and go i get to put it in a ponytail now there is no situation of oh my god damn what am i gonna do with my hair this morning because my hair is just my hair it's not a whole process it's not a whole regimen in the morning because for the most part if your hair is long enough and if you are confident enough in your hair you literally can just go about with your hair the way it is so that is such an amazing process because it cuts down the time in the morning so much another positive thing and this is just probably for me is that I get to spread awareness about not only how versatile locks are but how beautiful they are um I spend so much of my time spreading awareness about how beautiful how versatile and how amazing it is to have loose natural hair and it's crazy because when I got my locks I felt like I was starting all over again now people look at me a certain type of way because I have locks and it's crazy because I'm gonna talk about that with the cons now it's like people are looking at me funny people think I don't have two degrees people think that I'm a bug some people think that I'm a little bit you know off my rocker because I have locks especially when I'm not dressed but most of the time I am dressed so it does help so people don't look at me that way but there are some ignorant people that will look at me like I'm a crackhead like I ain't got no sense like I'm stupid or like I'm dirty because I'm a black woman with locks and it's like bitch I will talk run smash circles around you you put that maricon mal porte sans ave degenerate peon motherfucker i will kill you with words with weapons and all of that shit because i got brains and i'm from the hood which one you want it's ridiculous people will really judge you based off the way you look but i feel like the way i carry myself does really play a part because i'm not out here doing all that rah 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 on a regular basis but if i have to get there i will get there i like the fact that I get to prove people wrong um it's funny because that's something me and my man really have in common since he has a government job he's chose to like really keep his locks to prove people wrong because people will also look at him like he don't got two degrees I never really understood why people especially when they would get in high government positions or when they would just get into like CEO positions why they cut their locks off and that needs to stop that goes for everything we need to stop letting people pressure us into not having our ethnic hairstyles you know you know head wraps and wear our ethnic clothing because it's gonna make other ethnic children coming after us it's gonna make other people think oh well okay i i can't be comfortably black i can't be comfortably asian i can't be comfortably wherever i'm from they're not gonna accept me make them accept you educate people let them know that they're ignorant as fuck so i like proving people wrong i like being able to educate people a lot of people also think that oh you know your hair isn't versatile when you get locked you're locked that's it no you're not locked into things you know how many people i've seen that have locks and they come up to me 
me and they're like, oh my God, how'd you get your hair to do that? I'm like, do what? And they're talking about my style, like when it's in the crown, um, when I have it down in two and I have the two things down on the side. And I'm like, do y'all really think that just because you have your locks, you can't do no styles? That's very disappointing. If you're watching this right now and you think you can't have styles in your hair, you can have styles in your hair. There's this common misconception that if you keep doing styles in your hair, your hair is going to fall out. You're going to thin out your locks. You're going to damage your locks. If people are telling you that, that's a lie. Unless your locks are really, really thin, that's your fault. I don't know why the fuck you want to go good thin ass locks, maybe for aesthetic purposes. But yeah, I wouldn't advise you out here, you know, getting your locks like really, really thin. If that's the case, I would suggest you combine some of them to make them thicker. Um, Then that should work for you. But I have thick locks. There's no concern with any of them falling out my head anytime, right? But I will say the locks at the back of my head are thin. Um, I don't think they're going to fall out my head thin because the, the hair in the back of my head has always been thin. Like these locks are definitely thinner right here. Like they're, they're definitely thinner, but they're not, they're not going to fall out of my head. They're perfectly fine. You're not constantly manipulating your hair, putting it up on a regular basis, leaving it out, doing all of this bullshit, having your man pull it while he hitting it from the back. You'll be perfectly fine. You know, I wash it once a month. I get it styled once a month. I'm not sitting here putting water on it consistently and doing all of that. If you're literally sitting here wetting your hair every day, moisturizing your hair every day, doing all of that every day, yeah, you probably have cause for concern, but I don't do that. The only things I put in my hair are leave-in conditioner, Haitian castor oil, and then shampoo and conditioner. And again, that's once a month, max twice a month, okay? And even when it came to my loose natural hair, I didn't do that often. And when I did have my loose natural hair, when I first did go natural, I did actually make it a point to wash it all the time. And I realized that did work for my hair. So for me, my hair either works with overly manipulating it or not manipulating it at all. So with the locks, I realized not touching it works because as you can see, two years, it's worked out, okay? There's no extensions in my hair. I do no crazy Haitian rituals or anything like that, even though a lot of people don't believe it. I didn't do anything, okay? And honestly, don't be letting nobody do your hair too tight, okay? Don't be letting these people just go on your hair, do willy-nilly uh, shit in your hair, and now your hair falling out, okay? Don't let nobody do nipote qua in your hair, okay? If it's too tight, take it out. If you can't bear it, take it out. But if you tend to head it, don't be doing styles as well. You can also get braids in your hair. I literally kept my hair in braids for a lot of the first year because I really love my braids. I love braids and I was so depressed when I realized, oh my God, I have locks so I can't have braids, but then I found out I can And that's what I did. My locks are a little thick, okay? But I feel like I can try to put a wig over this. Stay tuned. I'm gonna attempt. I think I'm going to try to attempt to put a wig over this and we're gonna see how that works out, all right? So you can do a lot of things. I've seen people braid down their locks. You need to understand that you are not limited just because you have locks in your hair. You just need a little imagination. You need a little boldness. You need a little time and patience, okay? If you just started your locks, don't be out here just manipulating it and doing whatever the fuck you want and trying to put like wild growth oil, whatever in your hair and putting all of these things that you see on Instagram and buying products just to make it grow fast. It's not going to work. It might fuck your hair up. It might get stuck in your hair. Lots of crazy things can happen. Leave your hair the fuck alone. So now let's get into the con. The first thing, to be honest with you, I've realized that now that my hair is getting longer, any type of style that defies gravity does not like my hair anymore, okay? My hair be falling straight out of styles, okay? My hair be falling. As I said, my hair only stayed in a style for a week. Y'all saw the vlog where I was literally taking photos for the photo shoot. That style literally lasted less than a week. It probably lasted six days. And then like one side started to fall apart, then the back started to fall apart, then the middle started to fall apart. So I just took it out because I'm not about to walk around with a half eaten pizza head. That shit don't make sense. And the last style I had before that was the crown. And the crown I've had numerous times. That's the style that you guys really like. I always get compliments on it. It's my go-to style. That started to fall apart too. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I have too much hair, if my hair is just too thick or whatever, but now my styles don't necessarily stay intact unless the style is going down. And I don't really like that because I like my hair to go up. I feel like it brings out my face more, you know? So that's one con I really do not like. Um, like my styles are not necessarily staying together like they used to. And I like my styles to be held together with thread. Literally very, very simple, held together with thread. I don't like hairpins because they really, really irritate my scalp. So I have to figure out something with that. 
If anyone has any suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. I can't stand spritz and a lot of older holding sprays in my hair. I don't know what it is, but my hair does not like a lot of holding type of materials or I will itch my scalp to death okay like spritz itself is the demon to my scalp and it's crazy because a lot of stylists use it as well as like black gel my hair doesn't like it like a lot of the conventional things a lot of like lock stylists will use doesn't go out with my hair i do only have one stylist but sometimes she'll like experiment or forget that she can't use certain things in my hair and i'll just be itching for day so that's another annoyance um so god forbid if she stops doing hair if i have to go to someone else i just don't be paying attention and they put something in my hair child it'd be a problem and yes i understand you can just get retwist with just oil, but I haven't tried that yet. Let me know your experiences with that. Has that been a good thing? Has that been a bad thing? Because I don't know if it would work for me. The weight. When your hair is wet, it is heavy um to be honest with you i didn't think i would be feeling this yet i thought oh i have like a couple years before my hair starts to get heavy nah bruh after i wash my hair low-key my neck be hurt <laughs> i be like oh my lord i feel like the weight of the world low-key be on my neck like this shit it be too much i don't know how people be walking around like rapunzel sometimes like we need an invention hold this shit because i'd be like Feeling like I'm about to hit a dance move. Like, it's, it's too much. The weight of this shit is too much. Three much sometimes. And people don't be telling you about that part at all. This hasn't happened to me and I hope it never does because I might just pass out. Depending on your law, uh, again, hair porosity and how much you manipulate your hair, your hair might snap, okay? Your hair just might snap right the hell off. I hope that don't happen to you, shit. I hope it don't happen to me. Let us pray. It's just not for everyone. I will say, depending on how thick your hair is, you might be better off with sister locks, right? Um, You might be better with two two strand twisting your hair and then you know letting them naturally form into locks there's different types of locks there's different type of ways to go about this and you know of course there's free form there's different things like that the whole lock conversation could go on and on and on and on i will say that this has been an amazing journey and i would not trade my locks for anything in this world like i genuinely love them like i feel like they're an extension of myself like i literally be sitting there charging my hair in the sun spiritual people yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I literally be, ah, oh, like, I just love it. <laughs> Like, I love my hair so much. And two years strong, I'm hoping it's gonna be 200 years strong. I don't think I wanna live that long. This earth is ghetto. But you guys understand. I will be in my casket with my locks, okay? I absolutely love my hair more than anything. Like, I love it more than YouTube. And I love my YouTube, okay? All three of my channels are, like, my biggest accomplishments. And I will say my next accomplishment next to that is my hair. I've never put so much emphasis on hair. Um, Yes, I cherish my hair. I've always cherished my hair. But this is just a different type of love. It's a different type of love and appreciation. You know how people say you love people, you love your family, you love your relationships, but then when you have a child, it's a different type of love. It's the same thing I feel for my hair. Like, yes, I've always loved my hair. I've always loved myself. But when you have locks, it's a different type of love and appreciation that you have. And those people with locks can tell you. It's a different type of love and appreciation that you have for your locks when you're called to get them. When you're not getting them for an aesthetic, when you're not getting them as a trend, when you're not getting them to fit in, when you're not getting them to please other people it is a different type of love that you develop for them when it comes to other people's perceptions it's crazy because i feel like a lot of people said my face has changed a lot with my locks comment down below if you agree or not i feel like i look the same but of course i'm gonna think i look the same but i do think i look prettier with them i think i look aesthetically pleasing i genuinely again like i said i don't know how many times i said i love them i love them a lot I had people say like i look a lot better which i'm trying to say what the fuck y'all trying to say i was ugly with my natural hair i was ugly with my relaxed hair beach i was always cute i was always cute but i've had a lot of people say i look prettier with them i don't think my parents like it very much but again as i've always said my mom ball headed so she ain't got no room to speak my dad just be making slick comments like he'll be referencing girls with like natural hair on tv like oh i want you to have hair like that and i'm like says the one that has no hair on his head dismissed family well in terms of parents they don't really like it i don't really care um my cousin funny enough he was like oh i thought you were a whole new bitch like <laughs> He saw me one day, he's like, I thought this was old and big. My extended family likes it, my parents, not so much, but who cares. Other than that, I think that's it. I'm probably gonna do a Q&A one of these days. Um, of course, follow me on Instagram for more. If you guys want more videos about my locks, definitely peep the description box and or the pinned comment. Make sure you guys join the Patreon. I will definitely appreciate 
appreciate it more than anything. With that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. Bye!